Hi guys, I know you've been dying to hear my reviews on the new cold brew pitcher. So I'm just gonna do a quick video of how I make my cold brew um, and how I make my drinks, my yummy drinks. And it's gonna be a little backwards because I already have some brewed. So I'm gonna show you what I do after it's brewed and then work backwards from there. So here we go. Okay, first of all, I take my cold brew pitcher. Here it is, it's all brewed with the lid on it and you can see um, the grounds are in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that in the sink so you can see you can see this really fine filter where I've put my coarsely ground grounds in there. I'm just gonna move that over to the sink. All right, so I could store it in the refrigerator like this, but usually I am wanting to brew another pitcher so I have some ready to go. So what I've been doing is just pouring it in a pretty mason jar. And it brewed about 40 ounces, and I think this mason jar is 28 ounces. So we'll have a little bit left over there. And I just go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator. I didn't even have to filter it um, with the way I ground my grounds. So I'll just go ahead and stick this in my refrigerator, and that's good for... Um, one to two weeks in the refrigerator, but it doesn't last me that long. Okay, so in the morning when it's time to make my yummy drinks, I like to use some kind of pretty um, insulated cup, but you can use whatever kind of cup you want, maybe a Yeti type cup to keep it cool. I use my um, measuring cup and I put about three quarters to one cup of the cold brew coffee. It's kind of a concentrate, so you're going to want to add some water as well. Um, and so I add equal parts water. I guess you wouldn't have to add the water, but that's what I do. Um, then I'll add about the same amount of ice and I just use the crushed ice on my um, refrigerator. Okay, here goes the ice. And then I don't really use any sweetener in mine um, or flavoring, but you sure could if you wanted to. Um, but I do like a little bit of cream. So I have usually about, if I'm making a full cup, um, a full batch, I'll put two tablespoons of cream in there, but this time, or half and half, this time I'm just gonna put one tablespoon since I have a smaller. Um, and you can just see that like coffee house look in there, how it gets all mixed in. And I just made a small little batch for myself because if I drink this, um, I'm making this at night. If I drink this, I will be up all night. So um, that's how I make my drink in the morning. I fill it up and that's what it looks like after, after it's brewed. Okay, we are gonna go backwards now, back in time. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I brewed the coffee in the first place. <laughs> 